I am Teacher Jane, your friendly partner in mathematics class. Today, I am going to help you, my dear parents, on how to make mathematics easier for your kids. Our least learned competency that we have is gives the translation of real-life expressions and equations into letters or symbols and vice versa. My dear parents, it is very important to give a recap or review before moving on to the new lesson. We have to do it creatively in order to catch their attention. You may use this technique in teaching them by showing these pictures. Do you like balloons and cake on your birthday? Now let's see what is written on it. Will you read what is written in the balloon? What about in the cake? With these pictures, you already got their eyes on you. Then, you may now proceed for the review proper. This is what you can give to our child. You may pause this video while giving them short time to answer it. Then, here are the correct answers. Check their work for you to know if they really remembered the previous lesson. Moving on, my dear parents, try to ask your kids what are the things that we use nowadays in going out? Yes, we need to protect ourselves by wearing face masks and face shield in going out. And now, let your child read this word problem. Before we proceed to the lesson, I want you to remind that always wear your face mask and face shield and observe social distancing in going out, especially if you are in a gathering or celebration. To teach them how to solve the word problem, we need to change the word phrase in mathematical sentence. Let us use numbers, letters, and symbols to represent the number of face masks made. Let N be the number of face masks Ramon made. 2N be the number of face masks Mary made. Since she made twice as Ramon made, so N plus 2N equals 120. And this is the translation. To teach our kids easily in the translation of word phrases into algebraic expression and equation, let them familiarize or master the words and phrases related with symbols or operations. Give them time to master this, so that when giving an activity, it will be easy for them to answer. Let them read it twice or even thrice to master it. My dear parents, after giving them the words related with operations, you may proceed in giving examples. You may use these examples. In example one, we have used different words related in addition, having one translation expression. In example two, we have used different words related in subtraction and still coming up into one expression. Before you proceed to the next example, Tell your child that we use letters to represent a number. For the next example, we have used different words related in multiplication, then in division as well. And still, we translated into one algebraic expression. Giving more examples to our kids will make them understand the lesson easily. My dear parents, you may do this technique too in teaching our child. For instance, twice a number added to 10. Let x be a number. 
guide them in the translation. Twice a number is 2n. Added 2 is plus sign. And number 10. So this is the translation. And this is our next example. To translate it, we have the division sign for the quotient of the number 15 and 5. Then subtracted from is minus sign and x for multiplication sign. Then number 15 and 5. So 15 divided by 5 minus 15 times 5 is the expression. And for the last example is a number decreased by 5. Let n be the number. So, in translating it, n minus 5 is our expression. And for the examples of equations translating to words or phrases, this is our first example. In translating it, 5 added to a number equals 9. For the second one, to give the translation of the example, we have 8 minus 4 plus 5. Or, you may also write the difference of 8 and 4 added to 15. And for the third example, we have 10 added to a number equals 18. And this is what you can give for the next activity of your child. Again, you may pause this video while they are answering. And here are the answers. In checking their answers, tell them that what they are doing is being appreciated by you. Moving on to the individual activity, you may give them word problems like this. Let them read and analyze the word problem before giving the translation. Once again, you may pause this video while they are answering. Giving them ample time to answer is very important. It is also one way to test their speed in doing the activity. Here are the answers for checking. Having correct answers will be great for them and for us parents as well. To wrap it up before giving them an independent activity, let them read this. Tell your child to repeat or reread it for mastery. And for their independent activity, my dear parents, you may give this for them to answer. Again, you may pause this video while kids are answering. Or, you may do some household chores while waiting for them to finish. Going back to them is to check their answers. And here are the correct answers. Having productive day for us parents and kids is really a fulfilling one. Don't forget to give praises or positive comments for our kids if they got the correct answers. This is also a technique to do their work well and be inspired to study. Make sure to give a follow-up after being a teacher parent for this day. That is all for now, my dear parents. Once again, this is Teacher Jane, your friendly partner in mathematics. Bye-bye!